And I noticed you've taken over my duties of hitting the start button. On I want nothing to do with your duties. <laughs> <laughs> just want to make that perfectly you've clear. You've taken over my duties. You, know, you yeah. said duties. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nothing to do with that. <laughs> hey, it's Mike and John got it going on. And brought to you by Cougars Firehouse Stores. Yes, and it's a Cougar Monday. And it's brought to you by Firehouse Stores. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> I guess Susan's doing the drawing. Now. Yes. I, All right. It's very good, though. I mean, we just mentioned that to you just a, a minute or two ago, and you already incorporated it into a Absolutely. musical number. It's very I'm good. on it today. Very yeah. talented. Wow. <laughs> it's so. a lot going on today. Yeah. We're going to do the drawing. We're going to go uh, see if we got a winner in our trivia from Sunday night, Sunday night trivia, brought right. to you by Tanya Zirkel, sold at Tanya Z. It's uh, Matching Money Monday for the United Way of yes, Livingston County, and we'll be talking with uh, Ann Rennie. Uh, about uh, their all-day fundraising efforts, so uh, we'll have the details on that. Is what you're trying to say? We'll be doing that. Yes, we will. Yeah, it's <laughs> also, also Match Monday, not Matching is. Money Monday. Match Monday, but Match Monday, which we're doing with Orchard Children's. Services. There's a lot of M's so going on. So many matching going there on. Is there is a yes, lot there of is. matching. <laughs> and you know, it's kind of funny because it's all going to kind of tie into our answer too, in a way. Oh, really? For Sunday night trivia. Mm, a little bit. Yeah. Did, okay. you, did you peek at that? Or I no? did not. I, I didn't did. think you did. I, I did. That's right. Give me no, that. Absolutely. There you go. Somebody paying attention. All right. I'm prepared. You were complaining that I was pushing a button and that somehow that took away from your thing. I, I try to leave you the trivia as your That's all I domain. Get. If I start, <laughs> it's all I start get. then you're going <laughs> to why are you, why are you, you looking what, at the trivia here, question Here's for? what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs yeah. and, and, and go into your bathroom and smell that cinnamon again because oh, that puts okay. people in a good mood, a better mood. Uh, you and, know, my wife asked about that because you mentioned that on a previous podcast. Yes. That, uh, she goes, well, did, did he like the smell? I love the smell. <laughs> I, I think, yes. Thank, I, thank goodness you didn't yeah, visit that. No, no, I, I think I he's was just smelling it pre-my visit. I I don't think any pine cone is going <laughs> to... No. So. Cinnapoo is not really... Yeah. A, so, um, is that but, really a good thing? Yeah, if you want to go smell the pine well, cones... Well, put me in a better frame you, you of mind then. <laughs> well, you know, now that you've Maybe just, we should just strap a pine cone under your nose. <laughs> I... <laughs> It's oh, like that would aromatherapy. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, when okay. you think Whatever works. It. I don't know. Right, That's do you, fine. Uh, all right. Here, why don't we do this? Why don't you do news? Brought to you by Cooper and Binkley Jewelers in downtown Brighton. And after that, we'll wheel out the brand new, which everybody was impressed with. Oh. Mike and John got it going on Hopper for a $1,000 Cash giveaway. That's right. Cash for Christmas. All right. That's all coming up. But first, here's what's going on. A Genoa Township teen charged with murder has entered a plea. 18-year-old Max Bastine pleaded guilty as charged last week to second-degree murder, felony firearm, and carrying a concealed weapon. After authorities say he shot 18-year-old Christopher Grant Alexander in the head with a semi-automatic handgun in a dispute over a marijuana transaction in Pontiac in October of 2020. Bastine had originally been set to stand trial in January. That was then adjourned several times for various defense motions. Most recently on November 2nd, when a hearing was held to determine if statements Bastine made following his arrest could be used in court. The judge ruled against the defense and said they could be used at trial. Bastine then entered his plea. He remains jailed without bond and faces up to life in prison when he is sentenced December 20th. Livingston County's main recycling operation is about to see a major renovation to its facilities. Recycle Livingston, whose office currently works out of a trailer, will be constructing a new headquarters building at its drop-off site in Howell, as well as purchasing new compacting and bailing equipment and replacing a forklift and two heavy-duty pallet jacks in an effort to increase its recycling capabilities. The volunteer-run nonprofit presented plans last month to House City Council on a grant from the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy for more than $282,000, along with $171,000 in matching funds from the Kellogg Family Foundation. The city, which leases the Cottrell Street property to Recycle Livingston for a dollar a year, will act as a fiduciary for the project. According to the agreement, the new administrative building will re be renamed the Kellogg Environmental Center, while the overall operation itself will retain the title of Recycle Livingston. 
Site preparation will begin this winter with the new building and equipment being added over the course of 2023. And the annual Livingston County Shop with a Cop program took place Saturday as officers from area departments helped area kids prepare for the holiday season. This year, Clear University helped to support the event. About 125 kids were identified through the legal court or child welfare systems as those who might not receive presents for Christmas or who may need some positive reinforcement in their life. Each child was paired with a local police officer and then in a parade of police squad cars with lights and sirens were taken to Walmart in Howell to go shopping on Saturday. After their shopping excursion, the kids and officers attended a special breakfast held at Cleary University. And that's what's going on. And news brought to you by Cinnamon Senate News, brought to you by Cooper and Binkley Jewelers. Mark Binkley could barely drive a car when his dad bought the best jewelry store in town from Mr. Cooper. He spent a lot of time there after school and weekends, enough to know that he loved the jewelry business. Mark and his family were exiting a Sunday church service when Mark saw something more dazzling than any precious stone, Barb Lockery. Successful and beautiful was a combination too great to resist. And around Valentine's Day, a nervous and pale Mark Binkley asked Barb Lockery to be his bride. They were married in the rustic, cozy church sanctuary where they met and decided to build Cooper and Binkley Jewelers together. You'll see them there every day, working hard just like you, helping people make special times in their lives even more special with a gift from Cooper and Binkley. They'd love to hear your stories of romance at Cooper and Binkley Diamond Jewelers in lovely downtown Brighton. So, did... Did you go upstairs and take that? I did. From you better go put that back, fella. Come you on. better go put yeah, that back. Get in a better mood. <laughs> I'm in a hit. fine mood <laughs> until someone starts having <laughs> pine cones up my nose. Here, here, take it, Susie. <laughs> so much. Ah. Yeah, so cinnamon much supposed to make you good. Now I want some cinnamon toast. Okay. So yeah, I went upstairs and I got that out of the. Uh, he the, snuck you're, out. You're gonna have to answer to my wife. Well, I'll put it back you're on my wife. Playing wife. around with her pine cones. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> you, you come into my house and you play around with my wife's pine cones. <laughs> what kind of? What the hell? What kind of friend? What the I? hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but they're cute. Yeah. They're nothing. Cute. Nothing beats the smell of cinnamon this time of year. I kind of want one of those for my car now. You're a little too <laughs> invested in this. Right, okay. I, I, I think I am. Uh, we get it. It I truly is a little thing it's, 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 it's a little, uh, it's you know? concerning now. I <laughs> Look at this comes from a guy who used to sniff the exhaust of public buses. <laughs> There's sure. nothing wrong with that at There's all. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You know, I wasn't the only all one. Right, you know, I'm going to leave again. <laughs> And I'm taking my pine tone. Are you going to go get exhaust or what? Yeah, no, see. well, where are you going? we got to do a drawing over here. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're going to do the drawing without him. Uh, are you ready to go uh, spin the... Uh... Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> so, it's yeah. time for... Yeah. A lot of movement going Mike on and today. John's yeah. cash giveaway. Uh, giveaway. Uh, giveaway. Yeah, well, okay. okay, we'll just move that up there. Okay, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Quite a production. This is a him. big deal. Yeah, we got going over here. All right. So uh, on Saturday, of course, we were out at Christmas in the Ville. We were down at Fowlerville right in front of Torch man. 180. Registering folks. Pine cones. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and we had, uh, we talked to all kinds of great people that stopped by. And some not so great people. Thanks for coming by anyway, <laughs> well, no, you but, people. No, it was very good. No, it was. Uh, we had, uh, I mean, just so many people that we talked to who, uh, you know, enjoy the podcast. Many people that were unaware of the podcast. Uh, many so, people that said, yeah. what's a podcast? What? <laughs> there was many people that said, what is a podcast? <laughs> we had to explain. It's just a show. It's just a show, but it's like, you just listen to it differently, that's all. Yeah. Or you can watch it. You can listen to it in your And car. you can see the palpable relief that came over them when you would say, you go, and they'd be like, podcast. And they'd get all nervous. And then you'd say, it, it's on Facebook. And they'd be like, oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I, I can. And then we gave them the website, oh which is mikeandjohnpodcast.com, hey. yeah. where you can catch up. Whenever all That's your favorite right. shows are in reruns and stuff, you can sit in front of your computer right. on our website, mikeandjohnpodcast.com. Right. It's the best binge watching. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Cougar Mondays. Well, yeah, you could collect you know, all the Cougar Mondays. Yes. You could put those in a special file if you, you don't know how to do that stuff. You, yeah, you, yeah, you know, in fact, you can download these episodes and store them 
for your own <laughs> for future <laughs> you know, if, let's just say you got a bomb shelter in your basement mm. you want to have those episodes oh, yeah. in there so that when it's the end of the world you got us you, <laughs> you're gonna be like you know what maybe it's time for it to be over I <laughs> take a pine cone down into your oh, your bomb yeah, shelter yeah clearly and your computer <laughs> Hopefully your Wi-Fi is strong down there. <laughs> Can we record those on CD? Or I mean, if you wanted to burn it on, on DVD, DVD, I guess oh, you could do that. Yes. Uh, maybe we should have. A, maybe we should have a box set. A stocking stuffer. The Mike and Mike and You can imagine the kids. Okay. Oh, what's the thing? <laughs> Great. Two old guys and a girl oh, in the that's, basement. That's, uh, One day when I'm gone, you'll want these. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to want to watch these. These will be collector's you'll items. See. You'll all like, see. They'll be right there with the Beanie Babies. Yeah. But uh, again, we are registering people to win $1,000 yeah. cash. We should probably do that drawing sometime today, yeah. huh? And, you know, it was interesting. We had several people who also said, who put up the $1,000? They thought, well, it was like an advertiser no. put it up? Or so they're like, uh, we did. Yeah. That's right out of the podcast yeah. budget, which yeah. means we're broke. Yeah. But, <laughs> but somebody's not going to be broke. <laughs> All right. So All right. let's do this. Ready? All right. Can we move the stand there? We, we got to get the hopper on camera here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. it's fancy table that doesn't move very well. Right. Okay. All right. Now you're you're gonna. Oh, the spinner is here. Do you want me to operate the spinner here? Let's do this. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's look interchangeable. At that. All right. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Multi-directional. All right. Here look at go. that. <laughs> Give it a little speed. <laughs> <laughs> we need music. <laughs> okay, bump, bump, bump. <laughs> All right, here we go. As soon as we're gonna reach it. Oh no, more spinning. You know, all right, gotta, there we go. Really Let them settle. all settle. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, wait. Oh, all right. Okay. Now we got to get the. Yeah, don't let them all fall out of it. Now look at this one up here. I don't think that, that's not fair. Yeah, yeah, look at that. All right. It's like that last right leaf on the yeah. tree. <laughs> so, All right, here we right, go. So open right. that up, reach on in. This is it. Going deep. <laughs> this is way exciting. To go. Live, you know, um, recorded. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let me let me just don't don't show me the entry, but let me just see the the, the the form without showing me what it is. Yeah. Okay. So. I just want to, I didn't see, but it was just a simple fold, just a straight fold, because we noticed people had different strategies. Oh. Some just put it in without folding it at all. Some folded it like that one, just folded it in half and, and put it in. Some did origami. Too. Some were doing, you know, uh, all Kissing kinds of, it. they're crumpling it. Do you think that really works? Yeah. Like I don't know. Different. It's it's a good question. Yeah. I we've done many a drawing through the years, and yeah. occasionally you'll pull out one that's got like a crumple to it or an odd fold. But sometimes, I don't know that yeah. it's any more often than any do, other one. Do one of those yeah. crumple it and then open it I back up. I don't really recall feeling anything different. Okay. No gum on it or anything <laughs> sticky. Yeah. All right. Well, popcorn and oil. Let's uh, let's see who our uh, our winner is. Should we one thousand dollars cash? Are you ready? I got a drum roll already. I'm ready. Oh no. Oh, this is kind of like Clark Griswold. No. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. No, this can't. Work. No, this can't be happening. No, I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, does it say John King? Can you well, read it first of all? Okay, is it legible? It is. It is. The handwriting is questionable. Suspect. I think it was cold. We had a rule that you had to be eighteen or over to enter to win. Yes, we did. Uh, now I want to ask you: Does that look like an eighteen-year-old wrote that? I mean, we're we're going to announce this as the winner, but I. Well, <laughs> I'm a little skeptical. <laughs> It was cold, as Thank Susan you. mentioned. Cold. It was cold. Yeah, it was okay. We know it was cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. And it gets better. Yeah, it does get better. Maybe, maybe the pen wasn't working as good. That, maybe that's what it was. Cold. I mean, I don't want to. We will say that the person that is our winner used red ink. We had the oh, choice okay. of red or green ink. So, for all you green inkers, you're out. Yeah, sorry, green ink. Yeah. Let's take a moment. <laughs> Let what? that sink in. Okay, what city are they from? 
They're from Fowlerville. All right. Which is where we were. Yeah. So it's a hometown but we, winner. And we had people from all over that were, yeah. I mean, we had some Upper Peninsula from folks. And, yeah, we had, yeah. Because they were, uh, they were visiting Oak. family or things like that. And we're like, all right, hey, you're in. Some just came now, to see us all but, the way from Royal Oak in the UP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's, no, I don't think yeah, it is. They said, hey, we're here for you. We saw your billboard on 96 right near. Although many people did see the billboard and commented on that. So, hey. You guys are smaller than you look on the billboard. Are we ever going <laughs> to announce this winner? <laughs> well, yeah, because right. I'm only allowed to do the trivia. Yeah. Okay. No, no, you can. You and, can. And, how about, and retrieve pine right, cones right. from the back. How about, how about we let Susan announce yes. who our winner All right. is? Okay. All right. If you can you read ready? it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. Who, who won? Our thousand. Oh, wait, are you doing research? Yep, doing research. All right, hold right on. Now. Just in case, <laughs> in case it turns out to be a twelve-year-old. Well, I don't think. Uh, I don't think we let a twelve-year-old. Well, uh, well, well, we're gonna assume the best. Yeah. All so right. The yeah. Email. Is yeah, I see that, but 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 the name. Yeah. That's, that's a little. It's a little hinky. Well, I found somebody with the yeah. same name, and they're a gamer. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think it's the same. Okay, well, same it's number. a kind, it's kind of it's not a yeah. it's not a, a very distinctive. Well, I don't want to say not distinctive. Is that a it can be a address? common last name. So I. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, just, so we're good. It's not this list. gamer. <laughs> all, right, all right, just announce. It. Announce the winner. Just announce the winner already. Oh my all god! Right. The winner is Jason York of Fowlerville. Fowlerville. Congratulations, Congratulations. Jason York. One thousand dollars. To spend however you want, wherever you want, with whoever you want. Uh, I wonder if we should call that number. You want me to call? Yeah. That let's just see if. Uh, All right. Jason answers. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I have to get rid of so, this number first. You know. <laughs> Let me here. Kill time. Well, you know. <laughs> This first, whole show is our, killing time. What are you talking about? Let's thank our friends at Firehouse Door. Oh, let's do that, we? shall we? Yes, they've been serving Livingston County residents for the past 24, going on 25 years. Family owned, they strive to treat each customer like family. Veteran owned, Mike Witt, a proud U.S. Air Force veteran. They're your one stop shop for residential, commercial, and rolling steel overhead door needs. And for the past 21 years, Firehouse Doors has been Livingston County's only authorized distributor for CHI overhead doors. Call Firehouse Doors today, 810 599 7480. All right, now I know, I know it's early. We're calling it Eastern Time. I got the volume. Thanks. Hi, is uh, is Jason available? Uh, he is not. Oh, oh. Take a well, where's Jason? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, Hi. and and where's Jason? Where's Jason? What do you mean? Well, you said he's not available. He's at school. Oh. Oh. What well. school does Jason go to? This, this is this is Mike and John, Mike Marino and John King from Mike and John Got It Going On. Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm his mom. Uh, you're his. Fowlerville High School. And can you verify that Jason is 18 or older? I sure can. Jason is 18. Oh. High School this year at High School. Okay. Now wow. we were wondering. Now, uh, uh, what's your name? All right, Rachel. So you're, I want you to hold up, hold up your right hand, please. Yes. <laughs> All right, I, re Rachel York. <laughs> repeat after us. I, Rachel York. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. To tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And under the rules of podcasting. I will not tell a lie. I will not tell a lie. All right. For fear of prosecution <laughs> of lying on the podcast. Under podcasting <laughs> regulation number 843. Prosecution for lying on the podcast. <laughs> you, you do not want to be prosecuted yeah. for that. No, Let me don't. tell you. This yeah, is this, rough stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. we make you walk it's, around it's, downtown Pollerville in your underwear <laughs> yeah. in the middle of winter. <laughs> if you're lying. They said you're right to Max. I was dressed as a fish for the parade. You were dressed as a fish. Oh, oh right! Wow. We saw what what float was that on? I forgot. Uh, that was on Great Lakes Paint Party. Right, yeah. that's right. We well, I remember seeing you guys come through. Yeah. That was a great parade, by the way. 
It was. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. the emceeing was just yeah. outstanding. Was stellar. Phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> they Best yeah. ever. <laughs> I'm talking about Steve McDermott. Yeah, the way. he was awesome. Uh, well, listen, right. Rachel, well, I think you can let Jason know <laughs> that he officially won the one thousand dollars cash. Oh from- my goodness! Thank you so much. Now, Rachel, yes. we'll since make- your mom and he—he's living at home. I'm assuming you can charge his rent one thousand yeah. dollars. I was just gonna say, if you want to tell him, <laughs> Jason, you've won a hundred dollars. We won't tell. Him. Right. This is my. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's up to you. Well, congratulations to Jason. Let him know, and uh, we'll be in touch later this week and uh, make arrangements to make sure Jason gets the cash. Thank you so much. That's amazing. All right, right. Rachel, you're a lot of fun. Thanks for answering this morning. Of course. Uh, Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Thanks All right, so Jason much. York, our our big winner today. Right, congratulations, yeah. under Jason. under oh yeah, you heard it. <laughs> we got it. Because there were some who were like, I was, well, are they eighteen? I mean, I was kind of. It was too cold to ask for ID, and <laughs> yeah. so. But I I think we can trust uh, Jason's mom. Yeah. Absolutely. Jason's mom's got it going on. She does. Well, well she's got a thousand dollars coming into the house. Oh, yeah. hey. That's a different podcast. It's <laughs> <laughs> eighteen and all. She dresses like a mermaid. <laughs> so, hey, come on now. Hey, I'm sorry. First okay. you play with my wife's Keep pine on. cones. Now you're taking Jason's mom and putting her in a mermaid outfit. She wore the mermaid outfit. What the hell is wrong with you? I gotta, I gotta get this pine cone out of here before I get arrested. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. That's okay. cinnamon. And sense. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have uh, Matching Monday. Yes, going it's on. Um, uh, Matching Money Monday for the Livingston County United Way. All funds today will be matched up to total funds available. And of course, this all goes to uh, help fund the great programs that uh, Livingston County United Way uh, helps to uh, uh, provide, both through their own organization and the other organizations that they provide grants and services to. So um, we're going to be talking with Executive Director Ann Rennie. Do you think we'll get the switchboard? Do you think Ann's yeah, I mean, ready to answer uh, on her own? This was the number I was told to call, but I, I'm getting a little wary now. Thank you for calling the Okay. All right. Call this number. Well, I got to call a different <laughs> call number. Call that now. number. Yeah, call right. that number. I got to call this number yeah. now. You, hey, uh, talk about something while I'm calling this number real quick. <laughs> I'll talk about Murphy's Family Auto. That's what I'll talk about. That's fella. a good subject, yeah. John, because it's cold and you may need to make sure your windshield wipers That's true. are working. That's right. Auto repairs, vehicle maintenance needs since 2011. They've been providing the whole shebang. That's truck and car care, engine, transmission work, electrical services, heating and cooling issues, and brakes. Call Murphy's Family Auto. Stop. 517-552-3040. Open Saturdays 8 to 1. Murphy's Family Auto. Said breaks. If you didn't stop. <laughs> you know, we're, we're doing this. Oh, are we? Uh, I'll edit that. There's out. no editing. You can't edit the burp. <laughs> You'd have to go back and find it. That's too much work. At 20 minutes and 18 oh, seconds in or so whatever. Right when, we, right when we're calling oh, it. 22 or something. Hey, this is the end. Please leave me a message. All right. All right. <laughs> Here, I'm going to leave Ann a message. All right. Can you hold off yeah. on the no, no, no. Yeah, no. Go ahead. And, uh, yeah. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Ann. It's Mike Marino, John King, and Susan the Cougar here on Mike and John Got It Going On. Calling to talk to you about uh, Money Matching Monday for the Livingston County United Way. If you can, give us a call back soon, and uh, we'll get you on the podcast to spread the word. Thanks, Ann. Good job not burping during that message. All right, thank you. Oops, I forgot to All hang right. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, again, so uh, if we do so or do not hear back from Ann Rennie, uh, of course, today, <laughs> Matching Money Monday here on Monday, December 5th. And uh, you can uh, contact the United Way. You can call. You can stop by their offices on Door Road. You can go online and make your donations. And, again, all donations made today will be uh, matched up to total funds available. So, Hey, you know what? We have a birthday to pass along today, John. Yeah. Luke Brown from Howell is celebrating his birthday today. Luke. <laughs> we saw your father in yeah. Fowler. We Bill. did see but your he father. Said, I'm not your, yeah. No, he said he was your father. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was commanding the fire. Uh, the 501st. Yeah. It's a special squad of stormtroopers. And How old is he going to be? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think there was a bird. Oh, I guess Luke yeah. is yep. two today. Yeah, he's, Luke is two. I don't Luke, think, Luke is I, two. I don't think Luke is Luke's not guy. watching I, right I, now. I don't think there's a, You know, but... Although ma- many said, people say this podcast is aimed at a two-year-old <laughs> intellect. The, the thing of it is, yeah. if Luke's parents 
put this into prosperity, perhaps download it onto a DVD for their bomb the shelter. Yeah. <laughs> see? When he's 18, he, he might want to... He might want to claim this and say, yeah. see, I was on this podcast. Yeah. And people go, say, oh, Coop, those... Cooper was on there. Yeah. Wishing him happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Luke. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're also matching other things today. If you're not too busy Googling something or other. So intense. Taking care of the show. All right. Well, <laughs> I think you need to move the cinnamon closer. Uh, yeah, he's, All right. he's not in a very happy <laughs> mood, is he? <laughs> okay. Take a deep breath. Do you want me to run every <laughs> last thing on the show? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> well, I, I thought we were going to do our, our match Mondays. Okay. With orchard well, services. Yeah. Who's our who's our candidate today? There you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> For Match Monday, our you featured youth today is Destiny. Destiny is 14 years old. Absolutely love an, loves animals, especially dogs. She enjoys watching veterinarian programs and hunting for spiders and other bugs. You know, we might have a job for yeah. Destiny down here in the podcast. Especially maybe in the new location. No, I think the new no, location. New, it'll be, be spider be less, free. Uh, okay. We've well, got spider traps. Oh, no just checking. Spider free. There's not a stuffed animal she doesn't love. John used to have a little chicken named I do. Clucky. I still have it. I don't think she she enjoys it. playing games and being read to. Her favorite foods are spicy chips and gummy bears. She also loves playing in the water. For more information on Destiny, you can find that on our Facebook page, or on our, uh, on our, yeah, our Facebook page. Right. Or you can go to Orchard Children's yeah. Services, and uh, of course they uh, provide us our Match Monday, uh, and we're happy to help them. And of course, uh, you know, uh, kids looking for a forever home, teens in foster care uh, uh, are sometimes hard to place, but uh, great kids, and that's why we profile one each Monday here on the show. So Orchard Children's yeah. Services. So. All right. We also have our two cent history lesson coming up. Do you want me to do that too? <laughs> Boys. <laughs> so, take Very a hit. Nice. Take a hit. Okay. <laughs> Just. Oh, oh I'll take a hit. All right. Inhale. If you keep the thing under my nose much longer. This game really doesn't like so as much as we do, does it? All right. We tried. My I God. tried. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll get to the uh, two cent history lesson in just a few minutes. First, let's take care of trivia from last night. Oh, trivia! Sunday yes. night trivia. Right. We had a lot of great guesses. Our question: twenty five percent of people surveyed said they've seen a coworker here. Seen a coworker here. Now it could be a little bit embarrassing. I'm assuming it's outside of work. <laughs> I'm assuming, let's let's just go in your office and just so <laughs> Hey, I see you at work. Yeah, I know your we, way in. We work, to, we work together. I would assume that you do. Yes, it, it yeah. is away from okay. the workplace. Right. I want to clarify. <laughs> and of course, trivia brought to you by real estate agent Tanya Zirkel from Sold by Tanya Z. Right. Comfort is the key to home, you know. Yes, it is. Yeah. So some of the answers from last night, a sporting event. Wouldn't it be something if you saw a coworker? There in the big screen, the jumbotron at an event. It Maybe would be something. Yeah. And they were kissing somebody other than their <laughs> spouse. <laughs> that, that, and there are videos, by the way, if you go look those up, where people are busted on the uh, kiss cam at yeah. various stadiums. And they're like, they're like uh, smooching, the, they're like, oh, you're on the kiss cam. Like, oh, I, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought she was having trouble breathing. We right? knew we were on the kiss <laughs> cam, so we felt we should. I have no idea who I, she I don't know. Who are you, madam? I don't know who you are. Let me just wipe your lipstick off my face. Uh, Donnie said, uh, Donna said the uh, gas station. Christine said vacation. See, now that's one of those things where mm. if you see a coworker when you're on vacation, it's really? kind of like, oh, God. I'm here to get away from you. Yeah. Uh, Jeff said the gym. Patricia said the airport. The hair salon. I don't run to any <laughs> <laughs> I can honestly say I've never seen yeah, John at the nope, hair salon. No, you have not. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Jordan said the liquor store. Well, 
<laughs> is that and, because of me? And it's or? during the work day, too. <laughs> <laughs> and lunch see, day. That's one of those things where you're both there and you're going, right. I won't tell if you want to tell. Hey, it's like when you run into somebody at the adult shop. <laughs> well, somebody did say the strip club, yeah, so. Well, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now are they up on stage? <laughs> oh, so this is hey. what you do. this is what you do on your lunch hour. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any for us to do our employee evaluation. Yeah, I just have so much. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if you're getting a raise, but I just did. Yeah. Hey oh, oh, all right. hey oh, righty. <laughs> Madonna said Cedar Point. Diane said on TV. Mm. Hey, I know that guy. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Helen said the pub. <laughs> Helen apparently it yes. is, isn't it? And said church. <laughs> that would be something. There's some coworkers if you see them in church, are like, hmm, that's the last place I ever thought I'd see you. <laughs> or maybe they're thinking that or, about you. Or it's about time. I mean, <laughs> you got a lot to do. You better get in there. <laughs> God loves the sinners too, story? John. Uh, let's see. Out of state said Ashley at a job fair. <laughs> and we were both at a job yeah. fair. That's, that's another one where uh, I won't tell yeah. anyone, to, right? Unless your boss is like manning a booth at the job fair and you turn oh, the corner, you're like, oh, hey, I, we came I'm here to help, help you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need any help? Katie said at the Botox clinic. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing here? What's going on? <laughs> you didn't even smile when you saw me. I don't know what's happening. I am smiling. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cheryl said sleeping in their car. Yeah, you never know. We used to have a coworker that worked with us that would mm -hmm. doze off in his car. We actually had a couple of coworkers. Well, we had yeah. Well, one was an air personality, the other was yeah. a, a sales guy. He was making sales sales calls. Oh, that's right. <laughs> by the lake in his car. <laughs> by the lake. Really suck <laughs> the van down by the river. <laughs> so, yeah. Can you blame him? He <laughs> was trying to sell us. <laughs> Trying to sell our show. Yeah. He was like, I just got to take a yeah. nap. I... Uh, Cindy said Cleary's. Yeah. <laughs> so getting a little local. <laughs> oh, Cleary University. I ran into a class. Yeah. Oh, no, no. no. Cleary's. Cleary's, not yeah. Not, not yes. university. Uh, our right, we did get one person with the right answer. Oh. And that was Rebecca. She said a dating website. Hmm. And you so both, do you, and each of you knows that the other one's married. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you discuss that with somebody? Yeah. If you're on a website, like you're yeah. probably not talking to your coworkers about it. Well, no. some may, some may well, not. Right, but right. Depend, do you, depends on who it is. Or do you, if some of your friends that you're working with know that you are on Match.com or whatever, um, do you tell your friends, you know, hey, I saw him or her on that website too? I would. <laughs> now we know. So <laughs> blabbermouth. <laughs> but if it was like of the opposite sex or who you were interested in, I, I would see that as a sign. Maybe you guys are supposed to oh. hook up. Hmm. Now, yeah. if you each see each other on like match or whatever. And then the other one deletes what the profile. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well, that's awkward. That could be a sign, too. <laughs> that's yeah, that that's another uh, sign. Very, so congratulations to Rebecca. Rebecca Wood got it this yeah. morning. Congratulations. The winner in last night's Sunday Night Trivia. Brought to you by Tanya Z, real estate agent. Comfort is the key to home is her motto. You can find her online at soldbytanyaz.com. Our two cent history lesson today. It is uh, December 5th, by the way. Today is bathtub party day. Yes. Have a party in the bathtub. Rubber ducky, you're the one. <laughs> Hopefully there's bubbles. It's, it's, oh, I can make bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need some more of those pine It's like bubbles. a jet tub. <laughs> so, yeah. National uh, Bathtub Party Day. International Ninja Day. It's International Volunteer Day today as well. Satcher Tort Day. You know what Satchel uh, Tort is? A Satcher Tort? I believe yeah. it's a chocolate tort. And it's Repeal Day. We're going to repeal that. I'm I'm guessing, I don't know, but I'm assuming this has to do with the repeal of the uh, the amendment, the, the prohibition. Is that my guess here? Am I right? Are you gonna feel better if you were right? I don't care. Here, take, take <laughs> It does have to do with alcohol. Yeah. So I guess you're right. Okay. 
you know, when they prohibit stuff. All right. That's when people want it more. We're getting messages now that we can try again. Ann Rennie. Oh. Like they're only coming through my head. Special. Is there this number or yeah. the original? We'll try that number. That number. All right. All right. I will try this yeah, one. Yeah, we're going to. So this is what I was amazing. working on. I was trying working on to try and make the connection. Wow, well, that's yeah. 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 We did absolutely I think you're nothing. just pranking me. Well, that too. But I was working <laughs> on making the connection. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, is this Ann Rennie? It is Ann Rennie. How <laughs> are you? I'm sorry we missed your call. That's yeah. okay. You're so busy, right? That's it's matching we're money Monday. Setting up stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, See, we get it. We have enough trouble matching socks, let yeah. alone anything else, but. <laughs> So, so Ann, tell us about uh, Livingston County United Way's uh, Match Monday, Match Monday, matching the cash, I guess. Yes. So once a year, we do this large event where um, we have sponsors who offer to be the matches. And then every dollar that's donated on the day of Matching Money Monday is matched dollar for dollar up until the sponsor's funds are done. And so it's um, it's been quite a huge uh, following over the years and um, ends up being a, a substantial chunk of our budget each year. So it's a wonderful event. I was going to ask you if you know, I don't know if you know this right off the top of your head, but uh, we've known this has gone on for, for quite a few years. Do you do you remember the biggest year as far as uh, donations and then the match off the top of your head or no? So the, ve- well, it's our 15th year um, and the very first two years, it was a triple matching money Monday. Oh. So they had an individual who tripled everything. Wow! So that was that was back when it first started. Now over the years, the double, the matching Monday, um, has gotten pretty close to that triple. But that That's first awesome. year or two was, yeah, pretty amazing. But again, every year, I mean, as you said, it's in your fifteenth year. You have uh, so many different sponsors, uh, area companies, and organizations that have stepped up to make this possible. That you know. This has become, as you said, the, the the major fundraiser for Livingston County and United Way each year uh, to have folks, uh, you know, make those donations and, and make them matched up to the total funds available. Um, and, and maybe we should talk about, like, you know, where does this money go? It, it stays local. I think that's a key point to make. Absolutely. So everything that uh, Livingston County United Way stays in Livingston County. So anything that we raise, any donations and funds over the whole year, that stays local. And these funds in particular, we target um, the housing needs, the food needs, what we call basic needs, which are things that keep, you know, lights on, heat in the house, uh, food on tables, that kind of stuff. We have also last year, we were able to allocate some of these funds towards mental health. As you can imagine, it became quite an increased need. Once we were pulling out of COVID and we started to hear some of the um, concerns from some of our um, providers that provide mental health services that they really were in some need. So we were able to do that as well. And uh, and again, people that can make the donations, they there's a variety of ways this can be done today. Absolutely. They can stop in. We'd love to see them and thank them uh, personally. We have uh, cookies and hot cocoa and coffee and stuff all day. Um, you also can go online to lcunitedway.org and um, donate through that. In fact, I'm pretty sure our Twitter, I think all of our, today, all of our socials are going to have that link so that people can donate that way. And you're welcome to call. Our phone is doing something weird because the wind blew out our Comcast cable, but um, it sounds like uh, we're going to try and get that fixed pretty quickly here. So you're also um, able to call at 810 494 3, right. So there's no reason you can't make a donation today. And you said you had cookies. Mike <laughs> wants to know, are they cinnamon cookies? So, you know what's wonderful? There is a group of ladies who uh, cook all the cookies for us every single year. And they are a large variety. I think there's like 20 different kinds. You know, I, so I take ginger and if they don't have like. cinnamon. <laughs> but specifically, Mike yeah. wants to know, are there any cinnamon cookies? <laughs> okay. So I can go look. No, 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 no it's okay. It's okay, <laughs> Ann. No, you're there on Door Road and, uh, you know, folks that want to stop by, that's another way, too, to to, uh, to make those donations. A little bit more personal, too, but we know people are pressed for time, so sometimes they end up having to do it online, and that's a great way to do it, too. I would agree. Absolutely. It's, um, you know, it, it, we're busy people. We are in a community, uh, commuter county, and so we understand that 
you know, it's not as easy for people to stop by a building during set hours. So whatever way is convenient for them, we appreciate the support. And uh, people can drive, just drive up. You're going to have people that will be there to come out and take donations uh, till yep. what time today? All the way till 7 okay. p.m. So if, um, if somebody's nervous about coming into a building, you know, um, again, COVID is what your own personal style is. Just honk the horn, we'll run out to you. Whatever's easiest. All right, so right. till 7 p.m., but until midnight, you can go online or uh, the, the socials, as you said, to make those donations. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We won't do our accounts until tomorrow, so yes, right. absolutely. Well, definitely let us know uh, how things turn out, and we appreciate you taking a break here and, uh, and joining us on the podcast to, to spread the word, and we'll continue to do that uh, as well. well well, thank you so much for having us, you guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are great at getting the word out, so thank yeah, you so much. of course. No, we're happy to help. And, of course, Ann Rennie, Executive Director with Livingston County United Way. Today, matching Money Monday, Monday, December 5th. And uh, you'll find uh, more details how to do that on our website. But, of course, you can just go to lcunitedway.org to get details. Thanks, Ann. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. All right. All right, our two-cent history lesson. As we mentioned, today, December 5th. As we mentioned. Money Matching Monday. <laughs> it's true. Living's to count. No, it's not. Don't, don't say that. It's Matching Monday. No, and I, I was about to say yeah, triple. what are you doing? Yeah. You're going to... You're going to triple. Right. No, I'm not going to triple. <laughs> out of Mike oh. Marino's bank account. <laughs> <laughs> he will be tripling. <laughs> we'll match up to 35 cents. <laughs> All right. Our two-cent history lesson is yeah. brought to you by Drew Goebel, Oakland Insurance. You said repeal day had to do with prohibition. That's what I thought. I'm going to see if yeah. John was right about yeah. that. So that's my guess. Yeah. On this day in 1776, the first American scholastic fraternity was founded. Phi Beta Kappa. Phi Beta Kappa. Phi Beta Kappa. Right. Not Tri Lambda or Lambda no, Lambda no, Lambda. No. Well, no, they, they, they came around they in 1985. They could turn out, let me tell you. Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. C.F. Schoenbein in 1846 obtained a patent for cellulose nitrate explosive. Hmm. Thinking it's nitroglycerin? It could yeah, be. That's what I'm guessing. Aaron Allen of Boston, 1854, patented a folding theater chair. <laughs> well, oh, thank you, Allen. Yes. When you it sounds simple, but until somebody said, you know what? You could fold this sucker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Makes sense. It was on this day in 1893. That's 1893. <laughs> the first electric car debut. Yeah. It was built in Toronto. It could go 15 miles between charges. Oh. Well, then would have been pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah. Until you got your 15 mile trip and then you're like, well, I gotta go home. Well, I'm staying it's here. It's seven and a half miles because you got to run and go home. No, but if you went and then recharge to Grandma's house. Yeah, but if Grandma doesn't have a yeah. way to charge, that's why it's yeah. seven and a half. And you gotta turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, not gonna make yeah. it today. So probably make seven. Leave yourself a little extra. Can you hate when you run out. <laughs> <laughs> hate when you run out of yeah, charge. Hate that. Sorry, I'm late. I ran out of charge. That'll be so, 1893. Yes. 1893. That's what I said. Uh, yeah, uh, we had the ability for electric cars. And I know that at one point they had natural gas vehicles. They were coal powered vehicles. Now we went with gas. He's a plethora of car now. Hey, what'd you call it? I think me? it's the cinnamon. Yeah. It is. It's <laughs> no, no, cinnamon. No, brain no. power. It's, <laughs> it's not cinnamon. It's on this day in 1929 in New York. The first American nudist organization was founded. Mm. You imagine that meeting. December 5th. <laughs> We're going to right now. <laughs> Take a moment. Right. <laughs> Shrinkage, Jerry. Yeah. The problem is, is, you know, a lot of people shouldn't be no, nude. <laughs> Ever? I mean. So, I mean, that in the you know what? I'm going to need you to take a shower with your clothes on. <laughs> like when I'm eating dinner, <laughs> yeah. and you know, I, yeah. I don't need to see that. I think that's the thing. With, I've, I've <laughs> never been getting, there. Are we getting a glimpse? Of that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Personal life? Maybe. Maybe. It's, maybe. It's yeah. your, your new hubby just walking around. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Making bacon this morning. <laughs> <laughs> now that's just tempting fate. I'm sorry. You're asking <laughs> for trouble yeah. there. <laughs> Living on the edge. 
1933, the 21st <laughs> Amendment. I'll just pass on the bacon, thanks. <laughs> The 21st Amendment to the U.S. Constitu uh, Constitution was ratified on this date in 1933, repealing the 18th Amendment, which banned alcoholic right. drinks. That other one? Forget it. Yeah. It became official Psych! at 5.32 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Wow. That's very specific. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. didn't realize it was so specific. Can you imagine, you're, everybody? You're right. All the nudists sitting yeah. around with their whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Oh, Not yes, yet. Because America... Was totally following prohibition. They were yeah. waiting for that countdown. They, they had that secret oh, knock. They were so not drinking that, for all those no, years. No, everybody's dry. <laughs> oh no! I'll wait till it's legal. That's I right. can't drink that. Yeah. And finally, in two thousand eight, a judge in Las Vegas sentenced O.J. Simpson to thirty-three years in prison with allegedly uh, eligibility for parole yeah. after nine years. For an armed robbery at a hotel room. Right. He was released in 2017. Because he said they stole his They, they stole my Heisman. They stole his memorabilia. I think it was including his Heisman. Yeah. It might have been. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So he went after him, yeah. catching the crooks oh, just like yeah. he was catching the murderers. Well, he, at least he did some time. Yeah. Of course, now he's out. Yeah. Now oh, he's got a podcast. He's on Twitter. All, no, he's on Twitter all the time. Oh, and so he's like, and it's, if you watch his videos, it's always just, he always pulls I, up in a golf cart. And so he's like, hey, hey, everybody, OJ here. And, then, and he starts talking about it, and you're like, what the? Get out of here. So, yep, there's justice in this country. Somebody should let the air out of his, uh, out of his uh, golf cart tires. All right, that's your two-cent history lesson oh, for today. Wow. Nice. Right. How about that? Brought to you by I Drew think we Gold. learned more than we thought. Uh, I think we learned and a Drew lot. And Drew wanted to make sure you would learn more. Yes, he did. Drew Goebel at Oakland Insurance and Michigan-based Frankenmuth Insurance. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of relationships do they think are best, Mike? Not the ones you find on Twitter. <laughs> no, that's true. Honest, upfront, and fair. In person. Are you saying you can't find honest, upfront, and fair relationships on social media? <laughs> you can say it. No. You yeah, I think <laughs> if you want to get frank about insurance, call Drew Goble at Oakland Insurance today, 248 647 2500. So, you know, one of the uh, things that's been in the news lately was the, uh, the, the runoff in Georgia with Herschel Walker and the other guy. Right. Raphael there, Warnock. Yes. Senator Raphael Warnock. There's, uh, there's also going to be a recount in, uh, in California. There's a whole Aja, bunch of Aja, Aja, California, Aja, Aja. Is that how you say that? Oh, it's Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Just Ohio. Like just Ohio. They should call it. Oh wait. Ohio. Do you want to know? Do you, I, I'm surprised you don't know how to pronounce Ohio. Well, because it's it was the home of a fictional '70s TV icon that we both watched. Ohio. Yes. This tennis pro was based in Ojai, California, before her accident parachuting. Oh, Wild Bionic Woman. That's right. I really didn't watch the Bionic Woman that much. You didn't watch the Bionic Woman? No, it was more of a $6 million man. I was watching Bionic Woman. <laughs> I was watching Wonder Woman. Susan, who were you watching? <laughs> I was watching Wonder Woman, too. I was watching Joey Loves Chachi. You were the, oh, you were the one. <laughs> yep. okay. They met online. Right. Now, why I know the Bionic Woman lived in Ojai, I have no idea. That's... Yeah, that is kind of questionable. You want to know why? Because I smelled fun S exhaust. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. But but Potsy yes. is, is running for mayor, so they're looking at doing a recount. Oh. Really? Yeah. Uh, what's his name? What was his Anson name? Williams. Anson Williams. Anson right. Williams. I had wow. a crush on him. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. On Potsy? Oh, yeah. What yeah. was it about Potsy? He was clumsy. He and but he was a handsome he was guy. Cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cute. Uh, unlike Ralph Malf, who. You yeah, know, Ralph yeah. Malf. Ralph, I don't know. I don't know how Ralph ever got it. He made. still got it. He actually never, <laughs> he never had, had it. it. He never had it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, yeah. there's going to be a recount. There's only going to be a difference of 1,800 yeah. votes okay. for Potsy. Well, for oh, well, yeah. yeah. so. I would do that, too. <laughs> 1,800. Too close. Potsy, let it go. Now, too close. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Sit on it, Potsy. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, no. That's what That's what the uh, board of canvas is going to tell Potsy. You know what? Sit on it. That should have been yeah. his... Uh, his slogan. We, you know, maybe it was. Sit on it. He probably <laughs> so. would have gotten eighteen hundred more votes. He, he wasn't as nerdy in real life as he was on the show. No. I don't think anyway. 
So that was your little piece of entertainment slash uh, election news. I like that. Here on Mike right. and John got it going. On. His website's called Anson for Mayor. Yes. Donate now. And uh, he still looks pretty good, you know. I mean, what is he, 114? <laughs> um, <laughs> probably like 74 or something so. like that. I think he should be mayor. <laughs> well, yeah. then that's it. It's in. Because well, <laughs> the recount is done. <laughs> I think that would be fun, walking in and saying, I'm here to see your Mayor Potsy. Mayor yeah. Potsy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so Warren yeah. Weber. Warren Weber. Yeah. yeah. There there you have All right. Hey, I want to thank our, our good buddy Austin. Speaking of nerdy things, Austin is our web design guy. And if you uh, if you're looking for somebody to help you with marketing and technology, if you know absolutely nothing about designing, setting up, or ma uh, maximizing your websites, check in with Austin Lee. He's founded in uh, 2018, Orb Solutions. You can find him on the web at orb.solutions family-owned and operated small business, helping small businesses. Uh, Austin's done a great job for us, and I'm sure I'll do the same for you. So thanks, Austin, for all your hard work. Anson Williams, by the way, is running on a platform of making Ojai a fire-safe community, ensuring water sustainability, restore roads, parks, and make crosswalks safer. Increase revenue without increasing tourists. <laughs> you know these pesky wow. tourists around here. Wondering where my house is. Right. And build affordable housing. I think it's a pretty good platform. Yeah. I'm going to vote for Anson. I don't live there. Can, and the but election's yes. over, but I'm doing it anyway. You can vote for Potts. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Anson oh. for mayor. <laughs> I wonder if Sergeant, what's his name? Kirk. Sergeant Kirk. <laughs> Look here, you punk. <laughs> you <have> commies. <laughs> Is Sergeant Kirk running for office? Because that sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. All right. Susan, so, take us out Yeah, of here, please. Right? God. Jason agrees. Yeah, so. absolutely. Okay. All right. This is post show reveal. The color of the year. There was was there another vote? Pantone has announced the color of the year hmm. for next year. They're Pant seeing ahead. Pantone. Pant one. Pantone. <laughs> <laughs> pant one, pant two. <laughs> Today's color, Wednesday. I will wear a pant three. <laughs> so they've uh, decided the color of the year is bright and powerful. Oh. It's a shade of pink known as magenta. Well, I mean, that. now when you look at, and I, I remember when I was a kid, I used to like to use magic markers for art design and all that kind of stuff. And the magenta was always that hot pink. Yeah. That would stand out. You know, so magenta has finally made its due as the color of the year for 2023. Way to go, magenta. Yeah. And when you paint that room magenta, in 2025, you'll be thinking, what the heck was I doing? You think it's going to take that long? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, usually because it was like, well, I don't want to paint again. Well, that's true. You put in the work. You're right. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I got you. <laughs> you know, yeah, that probably wasn't a good choice. <laughs> But it will be the color of the year. So look for a lot of hot pink magenta. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Should we oh. should we redo the? Well, we are thinking of yeah. uh, moving. We're, the we're studios moving and, the studios. And, yeah. Maybe we'll have a. When we told when we told Cougar where we were moving the studios, she was super excited. I am. Yeah. I yeah, she cannot was, believe. She was just bowled over. We need volunteers to help us with the big moves. <laughs> That's what we're going to need. Do, do you want a new chair, a little, a little higher or anything? I do. the new studios? Like we're going to have more space. Chair. We can. Yeah. yeah. Spread out. Awesome. Yeah, I think I do need to sit higher. Higher, <laughs> higher than us? Hi uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> like you're the pharmacist or what? <laughs> you got to wear a lab coat. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for being here. Okay, yes. <laughs> Another right. Cougar Monday, and uh, congratulations to uh, Jason York. Jason York. Yes, Colorado, congratulations. Whose mom swore... Under penalty of podcast regulation, podcast perjury yeah. if she lies. It's podcast perjury. We can't if she was have lying. any of that. Yeah, I know. So you know, there's, you're on notice. 